Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. With me today is Sergeant John Johnson, the Troy University Police Department. Here to talk a little bit about some changes here uh, for the school year. Uh, first off, just thanks for joining us here yeah, today. Thanks, thanks for the opportunity, thank you. And before we get into some of the, the changes, because there have been some pretty big changes here on campus, uh, let's get to know a little about you uh, and talk <laughs> yeah. about uh, uh, your uh, position with the police department and what you do uh, with University Police. Okay, uh, um, Sergeant J.D. Johnson, everybody calls me J.D. around right here. Um, I've been in law enforcement about 10 years. I did 10 years in the Army before this. Um, and job, my job now currently is I'm the training coordinator for our university. Uh, at the time we put on training for our agency or training for other agencies around the state. I uh, coordinate a lot of those. Um, also, I'm the, a drug recognition expert. Uh, it's a, a long school that you got to go to that basically classifies you as an expert in drug related things, especially um, for DUIs. Not just, uh, a lot of people believe you can get DUIs just from alcohol. Um, you can get DUIs from any substance that impairs your ability to operate a motor vehicle. And of course, uh, on a college campus, I'm sure there's no opportunities for identifying drugs or any substances that might impair you. Oh, we never see that. <laughs> no, never, never. And it's, we have some good kids here, really do. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the locals, unfortunately, um, there's some of those that may have it on them. And so now let's talk a little bit about, about the university police and just in general, kind of the goal, because I know one of the things that Chief Beaudry has talked about the university police is, is maintaining the trust and confidence of the students, but maintaining public safety for the students, Absolutely. faculty, and staff Absolutely. here on campus. When he first came here two years ago, he stood before a packed audience, um, and he's made the comment that police, police officers are not just the right tickets and not just to arrest people, um, but we're all educators. And we've been taking that to heart, and our job is to educate the general public of what the laws of the state are and to be when they leave this place leave here even better than what they are because uh, what's you making leaders here right so we'll make great leaders here so follow the rules and yeah, so we want our leaders to do in our country and uh, and one of the things in and that came up this year is a couple of changes as students return to oh, campus yeah. and one of the the big ones uh was the fines uh and that's what it was kind of uh, announced during the summer but uh, some increase in fines and the reasoning behind that as well. Let's talk about the fines and talk about kind of the reason behind those, those changes in the fines. Well, let me schedule. kill that first one really yeah. quickly. We're not getting any raise from this, okay? <laughs> uh, it's not for raises. Um, one of the two reasons mainly why the prices went up. The first reason is uh, all the prices from the tickets go to help maintain our roads, help maintain our parking lots, and that's what they're there for. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of parking lots being built and have some more built in the future, uh, and all that money goes to that. Secondly, all the fines are only from those who break the rules. Mm -hmm. um, so if you don't break the rules, you never get fined. <laughs> That's very, very simple. You know, don't park in a handicap. Don't park in a fire lane. Those are just simple ones. Don't park facing traffic. Those are simple ones. And lastly, the reason we do it is um, have some repeat offenders that like nonstop parking the handicaps or just try to test the limits. And they'll have four or five tickets. And we believe by increasing the fines, it will make them want to go to decal. Um, because the again, that decal represents, helps us as law enforcement to identify those on campus. And it's a way to show your Trojan pride. So everywhere you go across the state and across the world, people know you're a Troy Trojan. So why not, why not celebrate that? And, and, I, and I've heard the chief talk about that, that the amount of the fine pr prior to this increase right. wasn't much of an intimidating factor for some <laughs> no. of these repeat offenders. No, it wasn't, you know, it was $10 a ticket and um, a lot of them would have 15, 20 tickets and no big deal. Uh, but now it's going to $25 for most of them. Um, still there's some 75 and some even higher. Um, but if you get your decal, it's not a problem. Just get your decal. <laughs> and uh, if you do get a ticket um, and you think you may be in the air, we just give them a ticket wrong, there's a appeal process on the back of them. Uh, but also, if you get just one ticket, don't think you deserved it, every year we have amnesty day. And so don't forget about that. You bring some canned foods, the ticket gets waived, you bring some canned foods to help out. And it feeds the those around us that need to help. And, and I know that was a popular event last year with a lot of students took advantage of that. Absolutely. Uh, I think it was somewhere along the lines of 50 or so students that took advantage of it eventually. And, and you got to think that number is going to probably increase a little yeah, bit. Yeah, my kid took advantage of it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. That's what it's for, and it's a way to help out. And But, yeah, I keep going back to the same thing, that if you don't break the rule, you don't get a ticket. Uh, it's just simple things. And one thing that might help a little bit this year is another big change was parking in general. That the the kind of the, the parking zones that we've all known and loved over the years, especially oh, for yes. students, have been have been changed right. and, and kind of eliminated. There's so. one big one, especially in front of Shackleford Hall mm -hmm. or in the Shackleford parking lot mm -hmm. there for Cowart Hall. That's all now yellow curb. Mm -hmm. And that's always been a major problem, especially on game days and especially um, when it gets high traffic days when the college schools mm -hmm. are all here. And the reason why that really is, is we have a lot of people who have 
medical problems and uh, an ambulance can't get through, a firefighter can't get through. And the worst thing I had to know is somebody called me and says, I'm sorry your child burnt to death in a building mm -hmm. because the fire truck couldn't get, get through. Yeah. And that's where I'm going from. Yeah. And so a lot of those changes in there, but once again, anybody who ever just needs university police, you're there. Now, like, as soon as you need it, and that there's Absolutely. opportunities that, that just reach out and, and they're here, you're here to keep things safe. Uh, that's a thousand percent right. Mm -hmm. yeah, we don't want to make any enemies, we'll make friends. And I keep telling everybody, speak to us. We're not the bad guys, believe it or not. We're just, we got a job to do, and we want to enforce the rules, and we want to make Troy better. And the best thing about Troy is I'm born and raised in Pike County. I have a lot of pride for Troy. I was born and raised mm -hmm. here. I was a kindergartner. I used to come bowl here and, as a, <laughs> and play in the arcades here. Um, and I love Troy, and I want people to love it also. Well, uh, good luck keeping things safe here on campus. Thanks for joining us here Thank today you. and give Thanks. us a little bit of information about things on campus here with the University of Police. Thanks for joining us hey. and uh, good luck. Hey, thank you, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.